Hi, my name is Daniel Boudreau and welcome to the naturalmattressfinder.com YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about a sleep study that actually shows that the brain cleans itself while you sleep and believe it or not, the process it's much like how a dishwasher functions. So let's get right into it. So neuroscientist Jeff Eiliff and a research team at the University of Rochester have published a study that reveals that the brain actually cleans itself while you sleep. And a dysfunction in this cleaning mechanism can actually lead to a buildup of toxins that can cause Alzheimer's and other neurological disorders. The process is called metabolite clearance and is performed by a sac of fluid that is present between the brain and the skull. There's a protein in the brain called amyloid beta. When this toxin is not flushed out properly by the body, it builds up and can cause neurological disorders like Alzheimer's. When you're awake, the amyloid beta levels in the brain go up, and during the night, they go down. The core of Eilif's research lies in determining why the levels go up during the day and why they go down at night. Using a powerful microscope, Eilif and his team actually look into a living, sleeping brain and look at its processes. The microscope reveals that the brain is a complex network of blood vessels that deliver oxygen and nutrients to the brain cells. The brain cells are fed by many blood vessels that circulate throughout it, but these cells also produce waste. In the rest of the body, it's generally the job of the lymph vessels to carry the waste to the blood vessels. In turn, the blood vessels carry the waste-laden blood to our liver where it is filtered and eliminated through urine. But there doesn't appear to be any lymph vessels in the brain. Instead, the brain cleans itself with the help of a sac filled with fluid. The fluid is called cerebral spinal fluid. This is actually an ingenious design characteristic of the human brain. The brain is surrounded by a rigid skull that cannot expand. In light of this, the human body has come up with an ingenious way to clear away waste within the restricted space of the skull. Instead of having both lymph vessels and blood vessels, the brain sends cerebral spinal fluid along the path of its blood vessels, thus circumventing the need for lymph vessels. The cerebral spinal fluid is essentially piggybacking along the brain's blood vessels in order to reach all of its areas and flush out waste between the cells. In the daytime, the sac fills with fluid and at night it empties and rinses the brain of waste and toxins. When the fluid empties into the brain for cleansing, it follows the path of the blood vessels in order to access all of the brain's areas. As the fluid travels along the path of the blood vessels, it flows between the brain's billions of cells and effectively flushes away waste and toxins. At night, something begins to change within the tissue of the brain. Dr. Eilif has observed that the support cells of the brain actually shrink during sleep. The shrunken brain cells allow enough space for the cleansing fluid to pass through and carry away waste. This flushing process is unique to the brain. No other part of the body functions this way to clear away waste. The nighttime cleaning process is kind of like a dishwasher for the brain. Dr. Eilif's research team wanted to know more about the amyloid beta protein. Amyloid beta is the protein that builds up in the brain of people that suffer from Alzheimer's disease. The research into knowing more about this protein has led Eilif's team to stumble upon the brain's nighttime cleaning process. During his research, Dr. Eilif discovered that the amount of amyloid beta protein in the brain would rise during the day and fall again at night. The flushing process is the reason why the protein is more present in the daytime than at nighttime. If the brain's flushing process does not function properly, the amyloid beta protein can build up as plaque within the brain. Alzheimer's sufferers tend to have a buildup of plaque that may be due in part to a lack of sleep. The disease may develop because of a dysfunction or a disruption in the brain's nightly flushing process. Dr. Eilif has found a correlation between lower sleep duration and quality and the increase of amyloid beta plaque burden in the brain. The failure of the brain to adequately clear away the amyloid beta toxin can set the stage for the development of neurological diseases like Alzheimer's. So in conclusion, 
put the chances of avoiding Alzheimer's disease and other neurological disorders on your side. Maintain a regular sleep schedule and get enough sleep. So thanks for watching. My name is Daniel Boudreaux. If you'd like to read the full article on my website, click the link below in the description. I've got a lot of great articles and comparison charts about natural latex mattresses. If you're interested in checking out what is available, I have uh, comparison charts where you can filter the charts by mattress thickness and mattress type. So head on over to naturalmattressfinder.com. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.